there bum boys who stop coming fire all of them yeah even if we have to sing without organ we will sing we have to stop hiring people because Jesus said the hiring the hiring is like an uber driver Shepherd, not the sheep. Even if you think a preacher said something you disagree with in your church pulpit, if you honor God and respect your church, you will shut your mouth and just talk to the pastor in charge. You don't go on your WhatsApp or whatever page. What about that man has said in the house? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your mind don't work well, I'm telling you. Because if your mind work well, a statement made in your father's pulpit, even if you disagree, you don't go to WhatsApp, Facebook, you are crazy. Be to God. Finally, my brothers, rejoice in the Lord. It is no trouble for me to write the same things to you again. And it is a safeguard for you. It is a safeguard for you. The teacher does not find it burdensome or grievous or troubling to repeat it, to write it again. I found out that when you teach something, it even provokes some battles. It is repeating that sometimes break the trouble that is created by the first statement. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of the things every Ghanaian parent knows, he tells the children, don't answer back. Have you heard that before? Parents say, don't answer back. Have you heard that before? Because when you teach a child something, Instead of settling the issue and solving the problem, what you told the child rather goes to challenge his childish thinking to also tell you something back. And what he tells you back disagrees with what you've told him. So the parent will say, shut up, don't answer back. Because the statement has gone to bring the thoughts in the child's head. Are you here today? So if you don't repeat yourself, you find that your first statement has just provoked a response that is contrary to what you are trying to teach. Are you here today? The next thing you hear them saying out of their heart is all kinds of reasons why they think faithfulness may not be the sensible way. Hallelujah. Because some people think if you are faithful and loyal, it means you are not very sensible. You are allowing people to cheat you. So if you tell somebody, be loyal, be faithful, uh, be obedient, you say, oh, the, the priests... The pastors, they take advantage of people and they try to oppress people. And then that's the response you will get. Whether they tell you to your face or they say it somewhere else, that is the first response. If you tell people, serve God for free, they will have a statement. That is their response to them. Why should I serve God for free? So you can't leave it at that point. You have to keep on giving reasons. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you here today? Glory be to God. Whatever statement that is made, it provokes some kind of response. Hallelujah. A gentleman came to my house and we were chatting. 
and he had seen online a statement made by one of our speakers at camp meeting and he said this thing is going vi viral is that what they call it viral that uh, and is creating online argument and comments hallelujah so he wanted to know what i think about it because i don't often say anything you can tell me a lot of things i won't tell you anything glory be to god <laughs> hallelujah that, that's my style glory be to god <laughs> hallelujah so he told me a lot of things and i still wasn't saying anything glory be to god hallelujah then he said to me my church and he mentioned the name of his church i won't mention it he said as for us we have settled that matter that nobody plays in our church for money then he said he mentioned another church he said that church has a professional band so he said it differs here and there i said okay fine you know your own answers everything depends on the maybe motive the plan and he asked, said if all ushers decide that they will usher for money where would the church be and if every prayer warrior decide to pray for money where would the church end up if every gifting or service in the house of god comes with a fee where would the church be are you here with me today glory be to god so i left him to continue with his theory or whatever glory be to god i listened to him for about one hour hallelujah praise god and he himself was saying some things about his church what he heard about other places and what other people think what other people feel glory be to god one thing we must always learn don't be quick to speak something glory be to god be quick to learn are you here today praise god because some people who are born again members of their own church and have a love for their church will serve their church in different manners free are you here today some people I, when I came to church, somebody was parking cars. Uh, the one parking the car that I saw, he doesn't have a car, but he was parking cars, directing the car how to park. He himself doesn't own a car, but he's happily parking other people's car and helping them to park out of a love for the church. So a lot of things depend on if you are a member of the church and the love that you have in your heart for the church it controls the kind of service that you render to the church i, I don't hear you at all i don't hear you at all if you are a professional maybe drama or guitarist and the church came to hire you by the roadside. That's your prof that, that is your profession or something. And the church came to hire you. But if you have a love for your church. And you consider yourself a member of the church with a great affection and love for the church the service you render in the church is with a different attitude and a different thing so 
Hallelujah. There are many people, I say this thing so that people who have a love for their church and who consider themselves members of their church will not be easily influenced by people who render a service to the church who are not members of the church and who have no love for the church. Uh, people paint, painted our hall for camp meeting. They are not church members. They are painters. They went to call them to come and serve in the church and paint the church. They have to be paid because they have no any connection, affiliation to the church. Are, are you here today? Glory be to God. But there's a brother sitting here. There was a time we asked for painters. We were doing one camp meeting and we needed painters. He volunteered. You remember? He was climbing over here. I was even praying for him that he won't go and fall down and bring me problem of prayer. He's not a professional, but he was climbing, painting, 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 painting. When he finished, nobody gave him anything. He just went home. That's his own service. To the house of God. Always be slow to speak and be quick to hear. Glory be to God. And be ready to hear things repeated several times. Hear a little, dare a little, line upon line. Precept upon precept. The word precept is teaching upon teaching. Principle upon principle. Hallelujah. Philippians 3, 1. And that's what it's about, friends. Be glad in God. I don't mind repeating what I've written in earlier letters. And I hope you don't mind hearing it again. Better safe than sorry. Here goes, so here goes. Hallelujah. As for message, it's a wonderful book. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Are you still here today? Are you still blessed today? Glory be to God. Hear a little, dare a little. If we are going to build the dream and the prophecy of 2020 don't look for one mighty thing you do once it will never work don't That's try right. to change everything in one day you will not move from poverty to prosperity in one day if you try that you have to become an arm robber are you here today if you are going to move into prosperity it will be little by little here a little there a little financial improvement from time to time is somebody still here if you believe it say yes develop an attitude of gratitude hallelujah yeah. develop an attitude of gratitude see Many people are suffering because their attitude is bad. Are you here today? Hallelujah. And this is the reason why their attitude is bad. They feel they are entitled to things. The nine that didn't say thank you, Jesus didn't say it doesn't matter. He asked the one, where are the nine? And he said, how come it is 
that there is nobody to come and give God thanks except this Samaritan. Also, we, I think we need to read it. If Jesus appreciated thanks, then you need to be thankful. Otherwise, you block the flow of the blessing to your life. Glory be to God. Yes. Luke chapter 17, verse 17. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? But where are the nine? You'd be amazed at the number of Christians that can receive a gift and not bother to say thank you. And the reason is that they feel entitled. They feel that somebody owes them to do it for them. Are you here today? Are you almost obi diomoka? Hallelujah. Are you here today? So when good is done to them, they don't appreciate it. They feel they are owed something. Some even think you gave them one shirt and they are ready to quarrel with you. Why? Uh, shirt back open or top remain. It's a spirit of entitlement that stop people from being grateful. 21. I'll show you something. Romans 1 21. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Uh -huh. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Unthankful people, they think they are smarter than everybody. Are you here today? They think they are wiser than everybody. They think they deserve more than everybody. Glory be to God. That is why some people don't like helping certain people. Because they are just ungrateful and they think they are smart. Are, are you here today? They, they think they are smarter than every other person. So, unthankfulness, thinking they are smart, they rather became fools. Some people do come, especially church, there you get many of these kind of stories. Hallelujah. People that came as zeros, help is given to them. Glory be to God. Uh, they are help. Help to marry. Help to do engagement. Help to dress for their wedding. Help, 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 help. But they are not thankful. They are not grateful. They think they are smart. They are wiser than everybody. Glory be to God. And they are the ones that go around bad-mouthing and complaining against the place where they have been helped from ungrateful people. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. There are some things if we correct it well, it is safe for everybody. Are, are you here today? If we say it, we are protecting people. If we don't say it, we are causing many people to enter danger. Are, are, are you here with me today? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. There are some people, when I hear that they are complaining, I remember Romans chapter 1, verse 21. 
Glory be to God. I know they think they are smart. And they think they are wiser than anybody. Hallelujah. People that came here sleeping in somebody's veranda and the church find them a place to stay and they think they are smart. They are going to say things against the church and make any kind of loose statement. They think we don't remember. Glory be to God. Because <laughs> even if you think a preacher said something you disagree with in your church pulpit, if you honor God and respect your church, you will shut your mouth and just talk to the pastor in charge. You don't go on your WhatsApp or whatever page. What about that man I said anyhow? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your mind don't work well, I'm telling you. Because if your mind work well, a statement made in your father's pulpit, even if you disagree, you don't go to WhatsApp, Facebook. You are crazy. There, there are some people, I tell you, if I see them, <laughs> glory be to God. Because God give us wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Wisdom is necessary for thinking. Glory be to God. Listen, the people who were not thankful, when it started, their sin was not fornication. Their sin was not adultery. No big sin. It said they didn't give glory to God and they were not thankful. That's all. That's where the whole thing started. By the end of the day, the people who are not thankful have become idol worshippers. It's, it's just there in the Bible. Huh? It began with not being thankful. It ended them in idol worship. So there are some things. If we don't correct it, it will multiply into trouble you cannot handle. Also, we'll read it again. The thing is just plain. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, and to birds, and four-footed beast and creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. They, do you know what this verse means? It means God gave them up to homosexuality. It started with unthankfulness. It moved into idol worship. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. They began to serve the creature, which is idols. When it came, there's a cross in the hand. Me haven't seen some before. Or some statement <laughs> in the hand. But so far as I can see, there is nothing written on your forehead by any angel that somebody should do anything for you. Anything done for you is out of the will, the desire of somebody else. And therefore, stop feeling entitled, but rather be grateful. For they watch for your souls as they that must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. Hallelujah. May you be the kind of Barnabas church member that your pastor will give you a nice name. <laughs> when Joseph is coming, 
Peter said, that's Barnabas. What it means is, that's the son of encouragement. Hallelujah. I wonder what name your pastor has for you. Hey! Glory be to God. Then there's another scripture. I said, know them that have the rule. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 13. Uh -huh. And to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake. Know them. You know who you are dealing with. You can't come and say, some fathers are very bad, so my father is bad. I will slap you with justification. Well, well, so, some fathers may be bad. That didn't give you right to come and bring the badness of some fathers unto my father. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So you don't have any justification that some pastors have done this. A, B, C, D. Uh, pastors are dangerous. No, you are living with your own pastor. Know him. Stop generalizing things. Know your pastor. How can you sit in a church for years and somebody can poison you? What did you learn? What did you know? You didn't learn anything. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Some of the things, I just don't get it because, hallelujah, some, some people, you can forgive them because they just walk in or they, they are not really connected to the body. Hallelujah. So you can forgive them for having some funny opinion. But if you have been in the house for long and you are an integrated, incorporated member of the church, I don't know how somebody can poison you. Who can come and poison me against my papa, Archbishop? How are you going to do that? You that are trying to poison me, do you know him more than I know him? We have to stop hiring people because Jesus said the hiring, the hiring is like an Uber driver. It's not the shepherd of the sheep. Are you here today? The hiring, if he see any difficulty, he will run away and abandon the sheep. But the shepherd will face lion to defend the sheep. Glory be to God. Do you know the kind of demons that sometimes target your life? Do you know the kind of principalities that sometimes your pastor has to rise up against that force to make sure it is well with you? Yeah, you have no idea. You just came. But the shepherd who face lion. I am the good shepherd. Uh -huh. And know my sheep, uh -huh. and I'm known of mine. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Ladies and gentlemen, if we are going to build the kind of global that we receive prophecy about, it is by following the principles that I'm trying to teach you and communicate to you this Sunday morning. You. If your pastor getting a nice thing annoys you. You are not yet a church member. Because if they sow spiritual things to you, what is it? Is it a great thing if we shall reap your carnal thing? The Bible said, I should want your thing. Apostle Paul was more holy than everybody. He wrote this thing. Apostle Paul is very, very holy. Hallelujah. If we don't learn the principle right, we'll block people's blessing. Don't let your pastor be wretched in any way. Make sure he's comfortable in all ways. Love him very, very much. Don't become his critic. Become his blesser, his encourager. There are some people, if they are in trouble, pa, I tell you, I will remove my coat and start to pray. 
Because they are encouragers. If you are in the choir, be an encourager. If you are an instrumentalist, be an encourager. Play the drum with joy. Play the organ with joy. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Please stand to your feet. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. If you know anybody who is not in church, who need this message, buy the CD and go and give it to him. And make sure my name is behind the CD, preached by Ampia Kofi. Glory be to God. All the bomb boys who stop coming, fire all of them. Yeah. Even if we have to sing without organ, we'll sing. Hallelujah. Let there be discipline and order in the house of God. People will help. Pastor, Pastor Enoch is very loving. People, uh, <laughs> he said he has changed. He used to carry people by the hand. He come to me, say, Papa, let's do this for this guy. Let's do this for him. Let's do this. This one is getting married. Let's do this for him. This one is homeless. Let's do this for him. Let's rent him. Yes, change me. We have paid people's rent. This. And then you get up one day, abandon my instruments and abandon everything. What is wrong with you at all? Ungrateful human being. <laughs> Glory be to God. I, I don't want to be angry at all. <laughs> I, I, are you here today? Ah. It's very wrong. It's very wrong. You can't do that can't do that. People can't do good to you and you repay them with evil. It's not good. It's not good. Everyone must lose that sense of entitlement and begin to be grateful for whatever comes your way and learn that even Christ he said, where is the nine? Where is the nine? 